Hey, I'm Russ Scalf. I'm active duty service member. Uh, I've been in the Air Force for 18 years and I'm a 2023 graduate of the WVU IMC program at the Reed College of Media. I chose the integrated marketing program because the, you know, for one thing, the program already uh, existed with Dimfos and it, it was great to uh, be part of a program that supports the military. Uh, so that was, that was really nice. And it's not just that they uh, support the military, they, uh, the people who run the program understand uh, and want to do better uh, to, to help us with the unique challenges uh, that we face. You know, uh, we have folks that are completing classes that are you know, uh, a half a million miles away. You know, they're, they're 6,000 miles away in Africa or Qatar. And you know, the folks that are uh, not just teaching, but actually running the program, uh, they understand that and they want to make everything uh, as easy for us as possible. I came into the military 18 years ago, and when I came in, I was taught the trade of a photographer. And, and you know, as we're seeing in the media landscape these days, if you can only do one thing, uh, you're probably not going to be very employable. Uh, so, you know, along the way, I picked up a few other skills, but uh, when I saw this program, uh, it, it definitely spoke to me because it gave me the tools to kind of fill in the gaps to, you know, be more employable uh, as I get ready to transition out of the service. Um, and even while I'm still in, you know, I'm not necessarily done serving, uh, I, I still love what I do. It is, uh, I just took a class that, you know, is, a, is all about metrics and uh, how to measure your campaign performance. I mean, the things that you're learning are directly applicable to what you do on a daily basis in the military. Uh, so for me, that was important to be able to uh, not only set myself up for the future, but be useful while I'm still in the military. For me, the most beneficial aspect of the program has been the faculty. Uh, the instructors that I have had have been amazing. Um, they're, uh, I've done online school for, uh, for, for too long now, right? That's, you know, when you're traveling all over the world, that's basically the only way that you can get it done. And these folks are, uh, every one of them, it, it, it's not been somebody on the other end of a keyboard. It's, personalized messages, it's taking Zoom calls, it's taking phone calls. Uh, when you send an email with a question, it's, hey, that's probably not a, you know, uh, email question. I would love to talk more about this. And then you have a 30 minute conversation with your professor. I mean, they've been willing to, you know, seemingly drop everything that they're doing to make sure that uh, I'm getting everything that they have to offer. And that's just amazing. My favorite courses in the program have been brand equity management, and emerging technologies. And those don't necessarily seem like, you know, the same person would like both of those uh, courses. Uh, you know, one was a little more uh, analytical and uh, customer focused, and the other one was very, you know, artistic and uh, product based. But I think uh, as somebody serving in the public affairs career field, uh, that's what we do on a daily basis. We're kind of, uh, you know, Jack and Jill's of all trades and you have to be able to think with both sides of your brain. So, um, you know, the, the brand equity management, you know, how you're gonna, you know, manage your, your wing or your battalion, you know, how you're gonna help your commander, you know, put their very best foot forward. Uh, it, it, there's so many things that I was able to take back from that class. Uh, and then with the emerging media technologies, you know, uh, being able to be a you know, thought leader, a subject matter expert within your career field that you're staying at the very edge of you know, emerging technologies. Understanding what's coming next and what technologies are emerging, you know, it, it helps not just you be prepared for those things and be more employable, but uh, it, it helps your, you know, your military leadership understand the challenges that they're gonna face and that they have somebody on their staff that is actually already well versed in those technologies. I would recommend this program to other DINFOS alumni because uh, you know you, you have a staff here that uh, is at every turn working to uh, understand and tailor the program based on our needs. You know, uh, I've had a chance to interface with you know both the DINFOS side and the WVU side, and um, you have people that, at the end of the day, uh, want what's very best for you know uh, our service members, not just uh, you know the alumni who have already been through Dimfos and have moved on to other things, but 
you know, the, the service members that are in training right now uh, and you know, building a program that's going to be available to them in the years to come that will serve them as usefully as it's serving me now. You know, for me, one of the draws to the program was that it was online and I knew that you know, I have a pretty busy schedule, most people in the military do, that if I needed to go somewhere else and be able to you know, complete those products, complete my papers, that um, the technology was going to be there to support me anywhere. Uh, and, and it was nice, it's already a familiar format. Uh, you know, where I work, we, uh, uh, we use Blackboard, and so for, it was a seamless transition. It was very convenient. Um, the materials were, were all there. Uh, a lot of the classes I was able to actually work ahead when I knew that you know something was coming down and I was going to be on the road. So just that ultimate flexibility uh, of this program really lends itself to the military communicator.